hello welcome back so in this tutorial we're going to be making this anchor bracket so start a new part file um, it is going to be a metric so I'm going to change my units maybe I just need to create a metric um, template so I don't keep changing it but I leave it this way just to show you so in some cases if you have to change your unit where to go to change it so we change it to metric and click OK so looking at this, sometimes when you look at it and you don't know how to start drawing which plane you want to start drawing your sketch on, the best thing you can do, I'll sometimes do this, is you select your sketch before you select any plane and that gives you all this plane in the way in your isometric view and since we are starting with this bottom face first so we know we're going to draw that on this top plane so we just select that and that puts you on the sketch mode and what we can do is we're going to start with these two circles and just draw everything out. So draw your two circles. The first circle is on your origin point and your second circle is uh, somewhere over here. Maybe I want it a little bit bigger. Uh, click this circle and that circle holding down the control key make them equal to each other. Also click the center point of this circle and the center point of that circle and make them horizontal to each other. And we can add our dimension which is our diameter is going to be um, 11 good so now what we want to do is draw another circle um, or before we do that we can also add the, di um, the distance between those circles to fully define it uh, which is 33 good so now what we can do now is draw another circle coming out sometimes when I try to draw the circle too fast it gives me that glitch so um, okay then click that the circle and this circle holding down the control key and make them equal to each other and I'm just gonna move this dimension out of the way so you want to draw a line that is perpendicular to both so another thing you can do is just draw your line over here and click the line and this circle holding down the control key make sure both are blue and click tangent I said perpendicular I'm sorry I meant tangent um, you want a line that is tangent to this circle so holding down the control key and this line and both the line and the circle are blue click tangent so you want the line to be tangent to this and you also want to draw another line uh, just kind of like draw a box around this now just so something that just goes like that uh, this snapped it to tangent so I'm going to delete this line I don't need that uh, let me just back a couple of steps so yeah so right here draw a line coming over here and draw another line coming down and make this line and this circle tangent to each other and trim so I'm using trim to closest so just start trimming everything away so that gives you the shape of this box <coughs> excuse me that gives you the shape of this box so um, the next thing we just need to do now is add our dimension so from here to here is 24 and which is that that dimension is over here the radius of this is um, 13 which is right here and our sketch is fully defined so we have everything we need so we're just gonna go to feature extrude and we extrude it up and it's going to be 9 and click OK good so now we have that so the next thing we are going to draw is this uh, feature over here so click this face and sketch and we're going to go normal to and normal to again so when you click your normal to make sure your origin point is pointing to the left of your screen so make sure your origin point is coming so you're looking at it this way I'm only making it this way so you can you don't get confused to as when I'm adding my dimensions 
how it looks sometimes you need to draw, put your view in the same view as what you're looking at on the drawing so that way you can get your dimensions right so that's the only reason why I'm doing it this way so what we want to do is just draw a line on this edge something like that and just draw that line at an angle going like that um, click on this edge over here and just draw a line going like that and draw this I'll move this down a little bit and just draw a line coming down from here to there so once you have that we just need to add our dimension another thing we need to do is put a point click a point and put a point on the mid plane midpoint of this line so once you hover over that line you see that orange point you can put your point there or another thing you can do is put your point somewhere over here select your point select the line holding down the control key and you see this midpoint relation and you put it and it's still gonna add it to the midpoint so once you have that we just need to add our dimension from um, I'll just drag this out a little bit we know that from this point to this edge is 19 and that is over here and also from this point to that mid center point is 64 and this line and the this line the angle here and the horizontal line which is like going this way which we can use this space so this face and this angle is going to be 45 and also um, the radius we know the radius is 16 so if the radius is 16 that means the length of this is going to be 32 so we have all the features we have all our dimension and our sketch is fully defined the only thing we need to do is now we can flip it see what we're doing and just close off this sketch over here and once you close it up everything is black um, come to feature extrude flip the direction and you extruding it inside and uh, now you can say extruding it inside and it's going to be 9 and click OK good so we have both features now and the next thing we need to do is draw this last one over here so click on this face so now we draw that and that gives us actually the angle we need to draw this feature on this face so once we click on that face um, just draw a sketch and number two and all you need to do is draw a circle somewhere out here and the circle is going to be um, so we can draw a line coming out this way and another line coming out this way or you can click the center point and if you hover over this oh you know what let's just draw another line over here because we're going to need it um, and this line are fully de are defined because they are black so we can make this circle tangent to those lines and this circle tangent to those lines it will still be the same thing and I will trim it off and even if I draw a line the line is still going to the center point of that line so everything is the same you can also could have defined this by drawing a line to this center point because everything is to that point so um, we can add our radius as you can see it's 16 so we really don't need it because we define that by making it tangent to these two lines which are on that edge um, so I guess what we need the dimension we need is the 29 uh, which is the center point of that 29 from the edge to the center point is 29 and we can add another circle in here just to eliminate one step and the diameter for that is 14 and that is over here 14 and so I'll flip it so you can see what we're doing so that's what it looks like and now we need to do is go to feature extrude and we want to extrude it down and the distance is also 9 
and click OK. Good. So we're pretty much done with this part. Because if you click this space and go normal to, you see it looks that way, which is what they are showing you here. Um, so everything looks good. And all we need to do now is add our fillet. So go to fillet. Um, the dimension is three. And we just start adding it. Um, I'm not sure what is going to break. So we're just going to add uh, it to C. So I'm just going to click those edge. And there you go. And we would, uh, not that face. We don't want the face. We just want the edge. So click that edge and click this edge. There you go. Um, we can add to the bottom because I think there's fillet on the bottom. There you go. And we will add one more to this top because once you start adding too much fillet, it might break. So whatever we can get away, we will just add those fillet for now and click OK. So the next fillet, we're just going to add it to the side. So fillet. Um, add it to here with still three and add it to this edge something like that and click OK and the last fillet we are going to add it to this edge so fillet three uh, select that edge um, and I believe that's all and add your fillet and there you go there you have it uh, if I go normal to we are done with this part as well and again if you click this space normal to um, this is what they are showing you over here and thank you if you have any play question or uh, suggestion please feel free to leave a comment or email me um, thank you I will see you in the next tutorial bye